The world is full of wonders and marvels that have never failed to leave people inexplicably puzzled. Whether it is a secret society that works behind closed doors such as Illuminati or something as perplexing as the Bermuda Triangle, there are a number of unexplained mysteries in the world as we know it. In today's episode, we will try to shed some light on a very mysterious story of Emperor Ashoka's elite secret society that may or may not be controlling the world today. The story begins when the Maurya dynasty was founded by Chandragupta Maurya. The dynasty lasted from 321 to 185 BCE. Mauryan Empire was the first empire to encompass most of the Indian subcontinent. Bindusara was the second ruler of the Mauryan Empire and the son of Chandragupta. Chandragupta and Bindusara were crucial for the Mauryan Empire, but the next ruler after Bindusara became the most powerful king of the Indian subcontinent in ancient times. Chandragupta Maurya's grandson Ashoka was the third ruler of the illustrious Maurya dynasty. He reigned between 273 BC and 232 BC and took the empire to its greatest geographical extent and its full height of power. His empire consisted most of India, South Asia and beyond, stretching from present-day Afghanistan and parts of Persia in the west, to Bengal and Assam in the east, and Mysore in the south. In his initial ruling time, Ashoka was documented as the cruelest and the most ruthless ruler, but later he became the most benevolent king after experiencing a particularly gruesome war at the Battle of Kalinga. His glorious time is considered as the most prosperous time in the history of India. He was also given the title Devanam Priya Priyadarshi, which means one who looks upon others with love. Embracing Buddhism was one of the greatest turning points in Emperor Ashoka's life. The Ashok's thumb has lions roaring in four directions, has also been taken as the emblem of the Republic of India. This is a bit of brief of the reign of Ashoka. But do you know the story of Ashoka and his nine unknown men? So the nine unknown men were to India as Illuminati is to the Western world, but only more intriguing and mysterious. After Ashoka's dramatic transformation of heart in the Battle of Kalinga, he realized as a true king he must win the people's heart instead of cities. This took him on the path to Buddhism. He realized that power can lead to the extinction of this world, which can be lived in a peaceful days. He swore off violence forever and thus created the society of the nine unknown men after 226 BC. He gathered nine brilliant minds in India and each of these nine men were given tasks and responsibilities of developing, preserving and preventing secret knowledge from getting into the hands of unknowledgeable. The identities of these men were never made public. Ashoka feared that if the scientific technologies in his time got into the hands of wrong people, they would have used it for destruction. They were each given a specific book that they were to update, revise and ultimately perfect the knowledge. It was said that if one of the members could not complete the book or wish to retire, then he could choose his successor, but the number of these men should always remain nine. These books are believed to have consisted of supreme knowledge, even the unimaginable secrets of anti-gravity and time travel. The world learned about the existence of the Nine Men from an English writer Talbot Mundy's book The Nine Unknown Men in 1923. Mundy in his book explained that the members constantly updated the books and shared the knowledge to wise men of different fields in the world for the greater cause of humanity. Let's record the nine books. Propaganda The first book dealt with the techniques of propaganda and psychological warfare. This was the most dangerous of all as it taught how to manipulate the opinion of the masses. This book could have altered the thoughts and have made anyone govern the whole world. Physiology the second book discussed physiology, which explains how to kill a person simply by touching. It is known as the touch of death, where a person can be killed by touching a nerve pulse in his body. It is believed that the martial art and judo are the result of leakages from the second book. Microbiology 
The third book dealt with biotechnology and microbiology. It is believed that the cholera vaccine came from the knowledge that was retained in this book. Alchemy The fourth book focused on alchemy and transmutation of metals. Mundy supported this theory by stating one of the times wherein severe drought, temples and religious relief organizations received large quantities of gold from a secret source. Communication The fifth one enlightened the reader about communicating with the terrestrial and extraterrestrial. It is concluded that the nine unknown men were aware of the alien presence. Gravity The sixth one spoke of the concept of Vaimanika Shastra or the art of building spaceships or UFOs. It contained the secrets of gravitation and instructions on how to build an anti-gravity flying machine known as a Vimana. Cosmogony The seventh one was about cosmology, the matter of the universe and the secret of time travel. Light The eight one could teach the reader how to control the speed of light and use it for our advantage. This book explained how to change the speed of light to use it as a weapon. Sociology. The final book discussed sociology. It would speak of the evolution of humans, the evolution of societies including their downfall. It contained ways to create, nurture and destroy a whole culture or civilization. Surely the books appear to be the ultimate source of all the knowledge known to mankind and one might argue that they sound too good to be true but were the nine unknown men real we cannot say for sure according to the legends these nine men leaked information from time to time from their books to save mankind from destruction there's no proof they existed but there's also no proof that they don't maybe ashoka's nine men are watching over the world or maybe this is just a fascinating story to keep us intrigued Whatever it is the society is definitely in need of some saving Friends we are excited to announce the launch of our digital library where our viewers can buy informative ebooks we will keep adding new editions across all categories the link is in the description Also guys don't forget to subscribe to Brain Tastic and press the bell icon